Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a full face of Surat Beauty. I'm so, so excited. I love Surat so much. And the impetus behind this video is that he just came out with um, like a mascara type product. It is called the Noir Lash Tint. And I just ordered this off of Violet Gray and it just arrived. So I haven't even opened this up yet, but let's take a look and then we'll get to the full face. So, oh, it's a very sleek tube here. Very typical Surat packaging. And I'm just so curious about what this wand looks like because I have seen pictures of it. It almost looks like a screw. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's like threading around the end of this, but there's actually like no brush, if you will. So I'm really, really curious about this and cannot wait to use it. But let's go ahead and start with some foundation. As you guys know, or you may not know, but the Surat Dewdrop Foundation is my absolute favorite foundation. I have it in the shades three and four, and I use four, which is deeper. I use that on my forehead and I use three on the rest of my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with three. I'm just gonna shake this up a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if it needs it. And here is what the packaging looks like. So what I do is I turn it all the way upside down and there is like a rubber button on the bottom here. And I just press that and it dispenses all this product. So there's shade number three and there's the texture. It's on, it's like, you know, it runs, it's on the thinner side, but not totally watery. And I've got my Sonia G base one brush. I'm gonna be using this today. And I'm just gonna blend this in. I don't have the Surat foundation brush, which I think is the newest brush to his collection. It's, I don't know, it's kind of similar to the Sonia G in that it's duo fiber, it is um, synthetic fibers and natural haired, but the foundation brush that Surat has is angled and I really want to try it. And I think it was sold out for a while. Anyway, I think now it's back in stock. Whatever the case is, I do eventually want to get my hands on it. And now I'm going to take four, do the same thing. All right, there's the foundation all over my skin. It has a very light, almost light medium coverage. And I just, I love the way it makes my skin look. I feel like it really makes it look um, like radiant, but without any kind of like, I don't know, like obvious kind of like glowy particles. And I feel like it really perfects my skin. Even though the coverage is very light, I feel like it just provides this like beautiful, beautiful filter for my skin. So that is the Dewdrop Foundation from Surat. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out some concealers of his that I have. So I have the Perfectionist Concealer Palettes. I have it in two and three. And then I also have the Surreal Skin Concealer. This one I've had for a long time. This is number three. This is the one that's just like a stick concealer. I feel like I've used the Perfectionist Concealer Palettes for you guys a lot more than this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Surreal Skin Concealer. So let me just swipe this under my eyes. This has like a really smooth kind of texture. So I don't feel like I have to like run my finger on it first and then dab it on. With some stick concealers, I feel like I need to do that versus, you know, kind of just drawing it right onto my face. But because this is such a smooth texture, I feel like it's okay to do that. So let's see how this shade works. Like I said, it's been a long time since I purchased this and it's definitely been a while since I used this. But I think three works. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's concealed. You see that like little bit of discoloration I have under my eyes. It just makes me look a little tired. Add some over here and add some around my nose here. All right, and to set my face, I'm actually gonna use the powder that is in these um, Perfectionist concealer palettes. So in number two, there is like a very light purple tone. So they're kind of like uh, corrector powders, but they're great for setting underneath the eyes and anywhere else that you want. And then in number three, it's like yellow kind of tinted. So I am going to use number two powder to kind of brighten up underneath my eyes. And these powders are so, so good. So I'm gonna use actually a really big eyeshadow brush um, to set underneath my eyes. I've got my Chikahoto GSN 7 brush and I'm gonna grab some of the number two powder and just dab right underneath. So immediately it mattifies and then it just does this amazing blurring. And then I'm gonna take the yellow one in the number three palette. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm not going to set everywhere, but I do wanna set around my nose. 
and just right here, kind of between the brows and my forehead. And now for my <laughs> huge <laughs> Syrah collection of um, artistic blushes, and these are my artistic eyeshadows, I'm gonna start with the blushes. And I have the one contour shade, which is Grisal. It is this one. So I'm gonna use that to lightly contour. And I think I've seen a video of uh, Troy Surratt uh, using the contour powder and he said you just really have to be careful with contour. Bad contour is like a bad toupee. <laughs> and I thought he's so right. He really is. So I'm going to take it easy with the contour. I'm going to use the um, Surratt cheek brush. This is the one that just has a domed rounded top. And go into Grisol lightly and just place some underneath the cheekbones here. Just a little bit by my temples. I'm going to take this Wayne Goss number three brush. This was in the anniversary eye set. I'm not sure if part of his regular line this is called the number three. Anyway, if you're interested, I'll link it down below in the description box if I can find it. But this is a very large blender brush and it has a bit of a pointy tip. Anyway, I thought I would use this to try and contour my nose just a little bit. And I'm using the Scott Barnes technique that you guys turned me on to because my nose kind of bends this way. My nose is crooked. Um, I'm just going to contour on this one side to kind of bring it in. All right, I don't know if that did much, <laughs> but I'm afraid to go in any deeper, so I'm gonna leave it right there. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with some blush. I have a lot of options here, and I do have some very unique blushes here, this orange uh, toned one and then this uh, yellow toned one. And this yellow one called Halo is definitely kind of like a great highlighter for a deeper skin tone. So I'd, I don't know if that's actually meant for me, but it's nice to mix in with uh, cooler shades if you kind of want to warm them up. Same with this orange one. And the name of this orange one is, F I think it's just, it's either Flame or Flamme, F-L-A-M-M-E. I think what I'm going to try is this orange one. I'm going to start there and then I'm going to surely add something else, maybe this hot pink down here. And I've wiped clean the cheek brush that I used previously, so I'm just going to go in with the same brush into that flame shade. And just adding that kind of towards the back here because I think if I'm gonna add like a pink color, I'm probably gonna to wanna to bring that onto the apples of my cheeks and blend in. But I'm just going to start there. Once it's blended out, it kind of just looks like a peach on the skin, but it really has a nice shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a really beautiful shimmer to it. All right, and then I'm gonna go into this really super hot pink color, which is, wow, I cannot pronounce this. I am going to put it up on the screen and definitely will write it out in the description box, but it is a really, really neon, neon pink. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that, brush that onto the apples of my cheeks, and then blend that into the orange. Sorry, I just had to take a break <laughs> and add some of this new um, Tatcha Kisu lip mask on. My lips are feeling really dry, so I thought I would leave that on until we got to the lip portion, then I could just wipe it off. Anyway, back to the blush. All right, so there is the hot pink on top of the orange, and then this is just the orange. I really like that you can see how bright the pink is and how cool toned it is, and then it kind of shifts as I laid it over the orange. That's really pretty. It looks very kind of like ombre. I think I'm gonna lean into this like ombre cheek and add a little bit of this yellow, this halo, color onto like the backs of my cheeks here. See how that looks. All right, playing with a little blush this morning. So I have the hot pink, the orange, and the yellow down. I think that looks pretty neat. Definitely different from what I normally do. I wonder if you guys can even see like the ombre effect from like the hot pink to the yellow. I think I need a little bit more like pink over here. All right, I was not expecting to do such a bold, bright cheek today, but I'm kind of feeling it. I really like that. I am going to take my smooth buffer brush, uh, the new Sonia G brush, and I'm just, with no product on here, I'm just going to lightly, I'm barely, barely touching my face with the bristles. I just want to lightly buff this out and really give it like a really subtle, almost like cottony effect. Next up, I've got the Surratt highlighter sticks. These are the cream highlights 
and I took out Diamante. I have the rose one, the, the one that's like a little bit pink, but I thought I would just go with one that's a little bit more nude. And then I believe there's a third color, which I don't have. I think it's um, for like deeper skin tones. I'm trying to remember if it was like a gold. Yeah, I think it was like a gold tone. Anyway, we're gonna be using the Diamante today and I'm going to actually pick some up with my finger and just dab it on. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I'm just gonna dab it, do the same thing. And if I remember correctly, this has uh, like diamond powder in there to really give it that reflectiveness. Actually, I took out the pink one. This is the Rose Diamante. And I think what I wanna do is just kind of bring it down around the apples of my cheeks here only because that hot pink, I just feel like this would look really pretty on top of it. So I'm just dabbing just a little bit, kind of just around the apples of my cheeks there. Ooh, I like that little touch there, right? Right here, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the light to kind of catch it because it's kind of low down on my face, but yeah, like right there. Really pretty, I haven't used these guys in a while too. Ooh, I'm so glad I'm doing this video. All right, and as for eyebrows, I do have the Surat Brow Pencil and the Brow Pomade. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pencil in my brows. Um, I believe the shade I have is Raven. Again, I'll leave everything down below in the description box, but the Surat Brow Pencil is uh, like refillable. So the shade name, oh, here it is. Sorry. Wow. It's like engraved on there. So the shade, yeah, the shade name is Raven. That's right. So anyway, I'm going to stick that back in here and it just twists up and twists down. And then there is a spoolie at the other end, but this is one of those super, super duper, like fine <laughs> eyebrow pencil. You can actually mimic little hairs if you want. Just gonna brush it out a little bit. And now I'm gonna take the Expressionist Brow Pomade. Um, this is clear, and I don't think he's come out with any tinted ones. Troy, if you're watching, I would love for you to come out with tinted ones, that would be awesome. Uh, but here is the Brow Pomade, and the brush on here, it is like a little teeny tiny brush. So I'm going to brush that in. And this has such a great texture because it really is like a pomade. It really helps shape your brows without it setting down like a gel where it just ends up being too hard and crunchy. And there's never any like flaking or like, you know, like little bits kind of like falling off throughout the day. I've had really bad brow gels that have done that. This never ever does that. It keeps like the movement of your brow hairs, you know, without like cementing them down, which I think is great. All right, and now back to my big magnetic palette here, and we're gonna go into the shadows now. So I'm gonna take this shade and kind of brush this all over. I can't pronounce this either, but I think it's called Zybeline, Z-I-B-E-L-I-N-E, Zybeline. Anyway, I'm gonna use this shade, and I'm going to take the big Chikohoto brush that I used before for powder and brush this all over. I love these Surat shadows because they end up kind of looking like cream shadows on your eyes. They're almost like a powder to cream. They're so, so beautiful. I love the formula. And I'm gonna take this shade, it's called Patine. And it has such a lovely kind of like taupey, but like slightly purple, slightly gray kind of finish to it. It's really, really pretty. Um, but I'm just gonna add that to the outer corners of my eyes just to add a little dimension. I'm gonna use my Surat. I think this is the classic eyeshadow brush in size medium. Again, I will leave all the information down below in the description box, but there's no actual name on the brush, but I'm pretty sure that's what this is. And I'm gonna grab some of the patine, just a little bit. Eyeshadows are really pigmented. And just kind of brush that along the outer corner there. As for eyeliner options, of course, I like to use eyeshadow as eyeliners all the time, but I thought I would pull out um, some liquid liners, which I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for today, but Surat has great, great liquid liners. These are probably 
my favorite liquid liners. Yeah, I would say so. They just have the most amazing brush tip, super duper fine, and you can also refill them. So there is like a little ink cartridge. So they're like calligraphy pens, but I don't know that I'm in the mood for like a liquid liner look. And then Surratt, I think, is probably known for these smoky eye batons. So at one end, there is an eyeliner, which is retractable. And then at the other end, which you kind of have to unscrew, is like an eyeshadow. And you are meant to take the eyeshadow tip and like really burnish in the eyeliner so that the liner stays put. I've tried using the liner by itself and it does smudge and it does move. These are definitely meant to like work together. I don't know that I was in the mood for either a liquid liner or like a smoky <laughs> eye look today, but I did want to, you know, just play around with a lot of the Surratt makeup that I have not gotten a chance to play with in a long time. So I took out um, Vapor Mauve, which is just this really interesting deep eggplant purpley color. So that's the color of the eyeliner. And then the shadow on the inside, I don't know if you can see, it has like this metallic bit to it. So I'm just going to smudge it on top. So that's essentially what you're supposed to do with the eyeliner. And I'm just gonna draw like right onto my lid above my lash line. And then with the eyeshadow bit, I'm going to smudge it into my lash line. So that's what it's ended up looking like. That's the liner and then the eyeshadow kind of smudged on top of it. It's a really beautiful look. And once you smudge this on top of the liner, this doesn't budge. But I do find that I can't use the liner like all by itself. And then next I have the Inner Light Baton. So it's very similar product to the Smoky Eye Baton, but this is a pencil for your waterline. And then, well, it's a light color pencil. I like to use it in my waterline. Um, and then the powder on the inside is great for like an inner corner, kind of like bright highlight. And I believe there's three shades in this. I have Effervescence, which is like the middle shade. So let's go ahead and line my waterline. Here is the center shadow. You can't really see it, but let me go ahead and just add that right here. It's like this instant, instant sparkle. It's really, really bright. This is such a great kind of like eye touch up <laughs> situation. I feel like this is the lip gloss, but for your eyes. So something you throw in your purse and like by the end of the day, if your makeup is just looking you know, like a little worn away, a little sad, you just need a little brightness, a little pop. This is great to kind of just throw into your waterline, add a little bit to the inner corner. If you tap this onto like the center part of your lid, you know, you do that instant kind of like eye topper brightening situation and it's just really easy to do. I feel like it's just a great like little touch up. So I really love it for that, okay. On to the new mascara, I'm so excited. I'm on the Surratt Beauty site. I just wanted to read up on this a little bit, see if I'm gonna end up doing anything wrong. So about this product, precisely defined denser looking lashes that last all day with just one sweep. Our Japanese made metal brush, quote unquote brush, allows you to coat every single lash, even the shortest, hardest to reach hairs, which all of my lashes are, all the way down to the roots. The smooth, intense black formula exclusive to Surat creates the effect of elongated, fuller lashes from corner to corner. For precise definition, sweep on one coat. For increased density, use two. For extreme volume, use three or more coats to build without bulk. No flaking or smudging, fast drying, long wearing, water resistant. And then there's a little tips section. Before application, prep lashes with our Releve Lash Curler, which I have. Uh, for complete coverage, swipe the metal brush from the root of the lashes all the way to the ends. For gentle but thorough removal, use an oil-based eye makeup remover. Okay, I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl. All right, here we go. So again, here is the wand, which basically looks like a screw or the threads of a screw at the end there. Okay, that is one coat. So here it is, here's without. I'm just surprised this did actually put product down. Wow, okay, 
Let's try the other side. I'm like so fascinated by this. I'm just gonna dip in once. Okay, so there it is applied to both lashes. It definitely coated the lashes and I feel like it coated the lashes like really evenly and, and quickly, like more quickly than one with bristles that I feel like I really have to kind of keep working at it and keep working at it. This was really kind of like just a few kind of strokes just to get around the eye, but they're all, they're all coated. All right, we're gonna go in with a second coat because I really, I really just wanna see what happens. Start with this eye. Yep, I definitely see more volume there. And then there's a second coat there. I really like how easy that was. Because they're so short, I, you know, I always end up when I use um, a typical mascara wand, I feel like I always end up at least with like a little bit of mascara on my lid because, you know, the brush, I try and get it right at the root and then I get it all over my lid. I definitely don't have the problem with this because there are no like bristles to actually like do that. This was like really, really fast and easy. So I really like the application for sure. As in terms of actual mascara, I think it does a great job um, like separating and volumizing. I don't know that it's given me that much length per se. I think there are definitely mascaras out there that give me more length. But at the moment, my lashes are still curled, which is great. I just think the application of it is so easy. I'm gonna leave a pinned comment, um, as usual, as to how the mascara wore. I definitely wanna see if it flakes, smudges, all that good stuff. Um, and I will also let you know like how easy or how difficult it was to remove my mascara. Okay, I'm gonna take off the lip mask that I had on, and I'm gonna use one of my Prismatic Lips in Nouveau Riche. This is definitely a paler shade, but these Prismatic Lips are like highlighter for your lips. They're just, they're really, really pretty. There's like little, little like micro, micro, micro glitters in there, and they just give like a beautiful kind of like sheen to your lips. So let me go ahead and apply this. But these are really great lip toppers, um, but I like wearing them alone just because I just think they give your lips like a little something. They're not quite as gooey as a lip gloss. Obviously it's like in stick form, but it kind of gives your lips the same effect. Like it gives them like a little bit of juiciness and then you get that kind of like subtle kind of finish. Anyway, I really love these. And the Nouveau Riche color I think is just so pretty for like a little something. Like if you're going for like a pale lip, this is really pretty. So that is my full face of Surat. I hope you guys enjoy this. Again, don't forget to check my pinned comment down below. That'll be the first comment underneath this video as to how this lash tint wore. I mean, I'm really I'm so, so fascinated by it. I'm really surprised that it worked, but it really did. It coated every single lash. And dare I say, I think it did it a little bit more easily than the typical mascara wand. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.